met at church. And I saw her. She saw me. We were friends. And well, we went to a church in the afternoon, and it kind of spun from there. And we had a revival here at the church, and she was coming. And so one night, I asked her that she want to go get something to eat. And then, uh, the next night, I asked her if she want to go get something to eat. And she kept on coming to the revival, like uh, she was here just for the revival, but she was here for me too. When I first met him, when I first saw him, I, I knew instantly that I was to be his wife and that would be my husband. And I'm here today fulfilling God's purpose. He makes me feel uh, just exceptionally beautiful and like I'm the most important person in the world. He's a man that's, you know, everybody knows he's a lively person. He's full of life and he's full of joy. And even through his hard times, it seems like he's always got a smile on his face. It's a connection when you have someone who's really concerned about you. And somebody who makes your happiness. My pastor always says that what makes a marriage gold is when the wife's desire is to make her husband as happy as possible. And his desire is to make her happy. And that's where we are. Twenty-five years from now, I'll, I see us um, at home, sitting on the porch, maybe in rocking chairs, watching the grandkids play in the in the yard, sipping lemonade. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God and this company to join together Edward Lamont Anderson and Chandra Yvette Boyd. Who gives Chandra to be married? Thank you. You may be seated. Marriage is an honorable estate instituted by God himself, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and declared by St. Paul to be honorable among men. It is not therefore to be entered into without holy advice or lightly, but reverently, soberly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. May they live according to thy laws. Look upon them with love, honor, and cherish each other. May they so live together in faithfulness and patience. Edward Chandra, I now charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, 
to remember that true love and faithful observance of your marriage vows are required as the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage and the home which you endeavor to establish will be but a vain effort. Keep the solemn vows you're about to make. Live with tender consideration for each other. Conduct your lives in honesty and in truth, and your marriage will last. Your home will last. The commitment to marriage will be a blessing, not only to you, but it'll be a blessing to others. This should be remembered as you now desire to be united in holy wedlock. Edward, do you take Chandra to be your wedded wife? And do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for her alone, you will perform unto her all the respect that a husband owes to his wife until God by death shall separate you? You may answer, I will. I will. Chandra, do you take Edward to be your wedded husband? And do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for him alone, you will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God by death shall separate you, you may answer. Therefore, since it is the agreement of Edward and Chandra to be husband and wife, please join right hands and repeat after me before God and these witnesses the marriage vow. Right hands. I, Edward, Repeat after me. Take thee, Chandra. Take thee, Chandra. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. Richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge thee my faith. Pledge thee my faith. I Chandra. I Chandra. Take thee Edward. Take thee Edward. To be my wedded husband. To have, and to, hold to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward. For, better for, worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, for or for poor. In, sickness and in, health. in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Till, death do us part. till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And thereto, and thereto, I pledge thee my faith. I pledge thee my faith. The wedding ring is the outward symbol and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to everybody the uniting of Edward 
and Chandra in holy matrimony through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Place it upon her third finger. Token, and token and pledge and pledge of our constant faith of our constant faith and abiding love and abiding love with this ring with this ring I thee with I thee with in the name of the Father in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and of the Holy Ghost Amen Chandra place it upon Edward's third finger and repeat after me. In token, in token and pledge, and pledge of, our of our constant faith and abiding love, and abiding love with, this ring, with this ring, I be with, in the name of the Father, the, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. For as much as Edward and Chandra have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. <laughs> Salute. Mrs. Sandra Anderson.